welcome. Thank you for being here. Good evening. Okay, great. So we have a perfect connection on the um on the audio and with the video too. Okay, today is Thursday, so we are going to get started because time flies and we only have one hour. Okay. So while the others join, we're going to continue. And here I'm going to share with you my PPT. Okay. Okay, here, let me see. I'm going to share it with you. Okay, and today we have our session number 12. Yes? And this is the objective for today. So would you please read Eliseo you, the objective for today? Okay. In this section, we will take a look at the quantifier to ask questions and give out answers. Thank you very much. If you remember yesterday, we began with quantifiers. Today, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the quantifiers. And the topic is quantifiers, how many and how much. Quantifiers is related to the amount, to the quantity of things, okay? That yeah. we, okay, that we have about something. And then we're going to go deeper into that. Good evening, Edward, welcome. And we're going to move right now to the, to the platform, because remember that by tonight, you are supposed to be over section four, okay? So you need to work a lot in the platform, yeah? Hello, Henry, welcome everyone. And here we go, okay? I'm going to get started, guys. And here we go, okay? Uh, we're going to watch a little bit this, quantify, uh, this video on quantifiers, how many and how much. Let's remember, we use how many with the countable nouns. If I ask you, how many fingers do I have in my hands? How many fingers do I have in my hands? One, two, three, five. four, five, okay? Quantifiers, you can count. Con los cuantificadores podemos contar. Y usamos how many con lo que sí se puede contar. Pero si le digo yo, how much uh, traffic is there out? ¿Cuánto tráfico hay? How much? Porque el tráfico no se puede medir. No se puede decir hay un tráfico, dos tráficos. No, there is a lot. You tell me that, ¿sí? Me dicen hay mucho tráfico, ¿sí? Entonces, sí. de eso vamos a hablar ahora, con lo que se puede contar y lo que no se puede contar. So, we're going to watch this video. And remember, we have count nouns and non-count nouns. We can say to answer a lot and a lot for countable and non-countable. A few for countable, varios, unos, unos cuantos. A little or little with no count. Many with the nouns that you can count. Much with the ones that you cannot count. Any and any for both, okay? Ninguno. And none, zero, nothing at all. Puede ser usado tanto con los nombres que se pueden contar y los incontables, uncountable. But let's uh, watch this video. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. 
we can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay, class, do you have any question about this video? Yes or no? If you have any doubt or question about what was expressed in the video, please tell me. Don't be shy, okay? It is the time for you to, to ask. And I have here, don't be shy. Ask, feel free to ask. Okay. Okay, before we have here to recap quantifiers, how many? We use how many to ask about an amount or a quantity of the nouns. If I ask you, how many cell phones do I have in my hands? You tell me? One, yes, because you can count them. But if I have uh, more than five or more than 10, you can tell me a few or a lot, yes? And, and then we say, for example, how many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12, or you may say there are a few, yes? or there are a lot, or there are many. There are many in affirmative. In negative, there aren't many because we can count the restaurants. Yes, we can count the cell phones, we can count the houses, we can count the TVs, the cars, but on the contrary, if we have a non-count noun, for example, crime. Crime is a mass noun, you cannot count porque el crimen, hay mucho crimen, mucha criminalidad en ese vecindario. As we were uh, listening to the, the conversation yesterday, you may say, yes, there's a lot. Like in some neighborhoods in El Salvador a long time ago, I don't know now. Uh, yes, there's a little, sí, hay un poco. No, there isn't much. No, no hay mucho. No hay mucho crimen, no hay mucha criminalidad en general, okay? Because it is a... Uh, non count noun and then we have no there isn't any no there's none there's none means zero nothing at all how much crime is there there's a lot of street crime yeah so we use we need to keep in mind how much with the uh uncountable nouns and how many with the countable nouns so we're going to write a list and you are going to help me guys to classify some nouns that are countable and some that are uncountable. Okay, let's begin with the countable nouns. Countable mm, nouns. Countable nouns, for example, tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe computers. Okay. Cell, phones. cell phones, yes, very well. Cell phones, what else? Apples. Apples, very well. Children, yes. House. Beds. Bed, very well, okay. House. Child. Child. Bed, which one? Would you repeat the last one? I didn't listen clearly. Child. Was that? Sí, yes, this child. Child. Okay, listen. Child is only one. Children is the plural. Okay, child is one. And then we have children. Okay. Do you have children? Yes, I have two children. How many children do you have? I have one child. 
I have three children, four or five children, I don't know, okay? So we use how many? And what about table? Is it countable or uncountable? Table. Another one? Pencil? Teacher. Yes. Teacher? Teacher? T-shirt. T-shirt. Yes? Shirt. Mm, T-shirt. And Sorry. also... Shirt, okay, socks, very well, and so on. Yes, now let's move to non-countable or uncountable, non-countable. Now, tell me some examples. Sugar. Excuse me? Sugar. Okay, sugar, very well. Another one? Self work. Crime. Coffee, coffee, milk, oil, Morning. oil, beans, uh, beans, bread, and, uh, bread, very well. And what about love? Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, uncountable very well, because you don't say, I love you two pounds. Yes or no? No, we don't say that. And uh, usually the, the, the emotions and feelings are uncountable because you don't count them, yeah? Another one? So we have sugar, crime, coffee, milk, oil, beans, bread, love, beer, mm -hmm. water, yes? Water. Okay, very well. But remember that the non-countable nouns, some of them can be changed into countable. Recuerden que algunos de los no contables se pueden convertir en contables. ¿Cómo? When you quantify them. You say, um, for example, a glass of water. Yes? Un vaso de agua. Then you are changing from a mass noun into a Countable because you are counting the glasses of water, yes? Or another one could be a bottle of oil, yes or no? Una botella yeah. de, de aceite, yeah? Okay, so I think that you don't have any problem with this. Yes, we only use here how many? How many? And we use with the non-countable nouns here, we're going to use how much, is that correct? How much, okay? Yes. Okay, excellent, very well. So, um, no questions? No questions about that, okay. So I think that there was no problem and now, we're going to continue with um, our platform. And here, if you remember, we already answered these questions. Yes or no? Do you remember, class? Yes, yes. we did it. Yes, we did it, okay? So we move, I'm going to diminish this. Where are we? We are here, yeah? The world in one neighborhood, we did it before. And then here, let's see. Uh, in this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with this, there, this, this is, there are, one, any, we already did it. There is and there are. Yeah, do you remember? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah, we already did it. And then we already went through, I think, this one. We'll follow a conversation about neighborhood talking about questions like how many, how much with quantifiers, yeah? It's pretty safe what we did yesterday. We are recapping the unit. If you remember, we were talking about this yesterday, right? And now yeah. here is what we were doing, yeah? About quantifiers at the beginning for the ones who were a little bit late. We were doing this, okay, in order to connect what we did previously to what we are doing right now. And here, the knowledge check, knowledge check. You already did it, yes or no? 
Yes. Yes, you did it, all of you class? Yes. Okay, yes. great. So let's move to the next one. In this session, participants will have a chance to read an article from a magazine and you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details, yeah? So here we go. You did it. Hmm. Yeah, and then we move to the next one because the world one neighbor, yeah? Big apartments, do you remember that we did it also? Yes? Okay, beautiful beaches. And here we said that there was a here. Do you remember that there's a misspelling? Está mal escrito esto. Okay, beautiful should be. Okay, so right now we move towards the next one. Please. Here the listening. Did you do it, class? Listen to the conversation. Listen, Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers, okay? Did we do it? Ya lo hicieron, chicos, chicas? Yes? Hello? Yes, yes. yes, everything is done. Okay, great, excellent. Now let's move over the next one. To the completion of the conversation. Are you done or not yet? Completing the conversation. You have to complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. Hey, we did it. Do you remember? Yes, sir. I remember that we did it. Yes. Okay, if you are not done, because in here you have to choose, yeah? Where and what. Okay, so since, since it is I, was, yeah? In the laundromat all evening, how boring, yeah? So you are done with this one, is that correct? Tell me if you're not, or if you have a doubt. And over here. Did you, did, did you do this exercise class? Choose the correct answer. There is and there are. Hello, hello. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Are you sure? We are finished. You are done. You finished the five sections. Excellent, amazing. And here the uh, unscrambled sentences also. Yes. Yes. Very well done. And what about the readings? Yeah. Read Ruth's letter, then check for true statements. Yes, teacher. Yeah, done? Yes. Excellent, amazing. I'm proud of you. So let's wait for the others. And you didn't find any problem, right? So over here, we have, in this session, you will learn vocabulary for describing people, yeah? And we move to the next one. Over here, appearance, how people look like. And it is work power, yeah? And we have, Long brown hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, a straight black hair, curly hair, curly red hair, bald when people don't have hair, a mustache and bird. But I'm going to play it for you, okay? Because later on you're going to be describing one of your partners. And here we go. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, 
a mustache and a beard. Age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, okay, now we're going to put into practice that, that vocabulary. Okay, here you are. And what are you going to be doing right now? You're going to be describing one of your partners, okay? How people look like, how does she look like? Okay, so you're going to be answering the question, how does he or how does she look like? Yes, and you need to activate your cameras in order to, in order to describe your classmates. Yes, okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes so you can practice and you describe one of your classmates who is going to be with you in the breakout rooms. Thank you for joining the ones who recently joined to the class, okay? Um, okay, here we go. I'm going to create the groups. Okay, actually the platform already created the, the teams. And you are going to be split into three teams and you're going to describe your partner, okay? Using the vocabulary that is in there. And if you have any other uh, word that you can use, feel free to do it, okay? You're going to have five minutes the most in order to do it. Here we go, get ready and join your groups, okay? Join your groups and begin working. Join your groups and begin working, okay? Henry and Jose Palacios, I need you in your group. Henry, please join your group. Henry. I need you in group number three, Henry. Hello. Okay, Jose Palacios, uh, your partner was supposed to be here. But I'm going to move you to another group, okay? Lo voy a enviar a otro grupo porque su compañero parece que perdió la conexión, ¿sí? De acuerdo, José. Okay, okay you're okay. going to join Claudia Sarco and Jocelyn. Here we go. Ah, no, lo que puedo hacer es, permítame, voy a traerme a alguien más de, de otro grupo, es que en un equipo hay tres participantes. Okay. Vamos a esperar a Eliseo. Eliseo trabaja la conexión. Hello, Eliseo. I'm so sorry. I had to move you to this group because Jose was lonely, the lonely. Estaba solito. Lonely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen, guys. You are going to describe yourself. Okay. And thanks. And uh, you look at your, okay, your hair, your eyes, your, okay, and you describe your partner. That is the idea. And you have five minutes to do it, okay? Use the words that I share with you from the platform, or if you have any other, you, you can use it, okay? Okay. Yes, I'm going to talk to Dennis. Bye. Bien. No Hola, teacher. Hello, Jeremias and Dennis. Dennis, hello. You have to describe yourself. For example, if I start describing Eduardo, um, 
let's see. You have to consider the words that are in the platform. Yeah, the ones that, <laughs> okay. Uh, Eduardo Ortiz is a young man. He has short, short black hair. Yes. You tell me if I am yes. right. And uh, brown eyes. Yes. Brown yes. eyes. And um, let me see. He has curly hair. Curly or straight? A straight, short, black hair. Is your hair, uh, Eduardo, curly? Kind of curly? Colochito? Or straight? O cabello liso? Um, no sé. <laughs> no, it depends when. if it is long or short. Eh, si está largo, eh, tiende a hacerse un poco más straight, un poquito más liso, ¿verdad? Okay, I would say that it is kind of curly because of what we see over here, right? Por lo que vemos por acá, creo que sí es. So, he, eh, Eduardo has a short, according to the description, um, curly, short, black hair, yes? And that is my description about yes. him. Now you have to describe Jeremy or Dennis. Yes, but using the vocabulary that I share with you via WhatsApp. Yes. Okay, okay pero utilizando el vocabulario via, via, que les eh, compartí via WhatsApp. Yeah. Y siguiendo el orden, ¿verdad? Um, Porque, por ejemplo, para describir el cabello, miren, acá, ¿verdad? Y el color. See, if it is short, long, uh, I think that about height, because you are, unless you are co-workers, a menos que sean compañeros de trabajo y si se conozcan, okay, personalmente. But go over, let's practice. Okay, ¿quién va a describir a quién? Okay. Don't be shy. Okay, I will move to one thing. Yes, I am sharing the screen, but through this I can't see the others, right? Oh. But to have the idea of what we are doing. It has to be to the colleagues to describe it, but he sees it, he knows it, right? He has seen it. And to Denis. That's it. That's it. Ah, okay. Nadie más está en computadora. Bien, entonces, entonces Edward describe a Dennis, Dennis describe a, a Edward y luego Jeremy describe a, a uno de ellos, ¿verdad? Y deja de compartir para que pueda eh, observar las, las imágenes. Uh -huh. Sí, okay. ok, great. Sí, porque... uh -huh. It is kind of, okay. Okay, no problem. Let's do it. Let's begin. Hands looking pretty. Eight, four, fairly short. Medium, medium eight. eight. Pretty tall, very tall. Jocelyn, this, did you describe Claudia? Jocelyn, yeah. ya describí. Ok. La voy a describir. Ok, I will describe you, you see. Claudia, Claudia has a straight black hair. She is young. She is 23 years old. Your height is fairly short in pretty. In and she's, she's pretty. pretty. She's pretty. Yes. Okay, very well. Now, Claudia, it is your turn to describe Jocelyn. Jocelyn is long brown hair. hair. Well, uh... 
Okay. Henry. Um, Hello, Henry. Hello, Hello, Henry. Welcome. Hello. Uh, Henry, Hello. your partners are describing one another. Today, we have to describe yes, ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice barba? Uh, Bert. Bert. Uh -huh. okay. With D at the end. Yeah. So people don't get confused with the beer, okay? Beer. Okay, beer. very well. So uh, did Jose describe Eliseo and Eliseo described Jose? Yes. ¿Ya se describieron, chicos? Okay. ¿Y quién va a hacer el favor de describir a Henry? No vemos a Henry. Eh, yo lo sí veo. lo veo, yo sí lo veo. Sí, ahora ya se ve mejor a Henry. Sí, ahí está. Okay. He's wearing a, a baby blue t-shirt. Okay, let's describe uh, Henry. Both of you can. Okay, Henry, Henry has curly hair. And uh, I see. And also he has a small noise or is short. Uh, nose, nose. Short. Nose, uh -huh. nose, no, nose. short noise, short. No, noise, no, noise, no, nose, nose, nose. Porque oh. noise is real. Nose, okay, no. nariz, okay, nose. And nose. he has uh, short ears and small and ears. Small ears, and also uh, he has uh, small eyes and and black eyes. And also, he is um, short because I I I met her. I met him. Sorry. Uh huh. And so, so uh, he's he's short. Yes, and he's uh, slim. And also, he has uh, a small a small. Mouth. Okay. And, and also he has a black skin. How do you say Moreno? Uh, brunette. Uh, sorry. He's brunette. He's brunette. Uh -huh. Okay, very well done. And now, Henry, you have to describe one of your partners. You have your choices, Jose Palacios or Eliseo. You choose your victim to describe. Palacio, describe my Palacio. My okay, Jose Palacio. Okay. Yo no lo veo. Mm -hmm. But I no see es. him, pero yo sí sí lo veo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, ya, es que está, ya lo vi. Okay. <laughs> But, okay. He has a t-shirt full of Okay, white. He, he is wearing a white t-shirt. Mm -hmm. he, he has a, a little rubber. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Uh, I didn't notice that. Okay, but that is why you were asking about that. But he doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't have a mustache. But what about his hair? Tell me, how does his hair look like? Uh, he has a uh, black. No, I'm sorry. He has. You have it in the WhatsApp. Okay, hair, hair. Hair, hair. Uh -huh. hair. He has hair. short, short, straight black hair. Yeah, short, straight oh, black oh, hair. Boy. Short, straight, listen, straight black Wait. hair. Okay. Yeah, short, 
short, straight. It's not and he does straight. like. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, it is a straight. Oh no, it's liso. No, Jose. No issue. <laughs> really? Uh, really? <laughs> oh. Yes. Very ready. A very, very, very curly. Oh, very, very. but it looks yeah. like yeah. from here, I see it as a straight. Okay, so he has uh, <clears throat> curly, curly, <laughs> short, black, black hair. Oh, okay. Yes. And what about his eyes, Henry? Yeah, has a nose. My eyes. Is mm -hmm. black, black. He or has blonde. black or blue. He says. <laughs> one blue. Okay. One blue and one black. He has uh, black, hair. black, black eyes. And what about his nose? <laughs> Is it big? Or small? It's beautiful. This. Oh, <laughs> and you may say at the end he is good looking. Tell me, Titi. <laughs> okay. Okay, and that's it. Yes. Solamente. Yeah. Is he thin or a little fat or what do you think? Strong yeah, or weak? Strong. I am strong. strong. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's a strong boy. Okay, uh, let's, let's get back and continue with this unit, okay? Because we need to okay. try to go over it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's it. Okay, class, I'm going to play the video again for you so you can listen again the pronunciation of the words, okay? Here we go. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Repeat after hair. her. Long brown hair. Long Short brown hair. blonde hair. Straight black hair. Curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, beard. age, D young, beard. middle aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Remember that the adjective uh, good looking can be used for boys and girls, okay? There is no problem with that, boys and girls. And here we are in number, okay. So we move, do you have questions about this uh, vocabulary, about word appearance? No. no? Uh, yes, tell me. Russell. Con respecto a la pronunciación de como de escuchar eh, con cabello, quiero ver la otra, es ah, la, la palabra Ella. aquí. Uh, here. Siento yo de que, ajá, hay bastante. Ok, no, but you say her y aquí here, here, her, here. se parece, es homófona con eh, ella, de ella, su de ella. Her, her, her. I told her. This is my her, ¿ya? Con esas, la pronunciación es homófona, 
parecida, pero la escritura y el contexto nos dicen cuál es, si es cabello o si es el uh, posesivo de ella, her, ¿sí? Okay. Her, ok. Entonces, sí, eso existe bastante en inglés con, con set de palabras, ¿de acuerdo? And here, in this uh, objective, we have that you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. Let's pay close attention to this conversation. She's very tall, okay? Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms, so you can practice the, the pronunciation, okay? Do you want me to play it again? Yes, class, do you want yes, to listen teacher. to the conversation again? Okay, here we go. Let's wait. Let's listen carefully. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, I want you to notice that in the conversation, <clears throat> maybe they did it on purpose. What color is her hair? And you have in there the two words that you were asking about, the pronunciation, her, her, okay? Her, her. What color is her hair? Yeah, de qué color es su cabello, de quién, de ella. Okay, what color is her hair? So right now we moved into the breakout rooms so you can practice that conversation and practice the pronunciation. Okay, let me see. Okay, go to your groups, please. Join your groups and begin the practice. Join your groups and begin the practice. Jose, hey Henry, I need you in group number three, Henry. Henry, Henry, please go to group number three. Henry, go to group number three. Okay, Henry is here and you may share, okay? And begin the practice. Henry and Jeremy, who's going to start, guys? Okay, teacher, I will start. Okay, great. Okay, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two. 
U I I suppose I suppose Well, that is tall. What color is her hair? She she has beautiful red hair, red hair. Hair, hair. And red. how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Remember we say she has beautiful red hair. Red hair, okay, hair. Red, red uh, hair. Hair. hair, red hair, yeah. Here, Emily hair. says, wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? What color is her hair, okay? What color is her hair? Now switch roles, please. Intercambian roles. Okay. Um, I don't see... I don't looking uh, a picture in. You have picture in? I have picture, pero tengo la, la, la captura, la, la, la imagen, pero no la puedo compartir. Oh, yo no puedo ver. No puede ver la imagen en WhatsApp. Quiero ver. Ahí está en WhatsApp. Sí, porque se las compartí vía WhatsApp. Quiero ver si, si puedo. Desde acá para que la... Lo voy a actualizar esto para que tengan por lo menos una práctica. Porque ya casi no acaba la hora. Ok, acá la tienen, mire. Vaya, practiquen. Ok, I start. Uh -huh. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, Ashley, and she's gorgon. gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, Really, gorgeous. really. What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? I would say it fit to, I suppose. I suppose. Wow. That is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay. Now switch. Okay. Um, I heard you have a new real friend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two. I suppose. Whoa, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. I don't know all is she. I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, very good. Only remember guys, gorgeous. Gor gorgeous. No, gorgeous, gorgeous. 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 gorgeous, and it can be used What's for boys and girls. It is more than beautiful, uh, like oh. uh, like I kind see. of divine. Okay, oh, you're gorgeous, como hermosa, hermoso, superior to that. I yeah? am gorgeous. I am gorgeous. Okay, yeah. yes. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> good self esteem. Good self esteem. Okay. Let's get back yeah, to the happy. main session room, everyone. That is the attitude. That is the attitude. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Let's be positive. There is one thing, guys, that I want you to notice here. Okay. Um, 
we have uh, the adjective. Uh, what is it? Oh, does she look like that? Oh, what is it? Well, I'm going to read it. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Ranji. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous can be used for boys and girls, okay? Really? What does she look like? Como es ella? Describenla. Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? What color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She wants to tell me, okay? Because usually we don't ask about age to girls, yeah? And, uh, well, that's it. Only hear her, her. What color is her, her? These are the words that one of you was asking about the pronunciation. Her, her. The same, but the context tells you which one is it is. And now here we move towards. In this session, you will learn how to describe and ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's see, describing people. Look at this class, please pay close attention. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay. So that is a set of questions that we generally use in order to describe people when they ask you to describe someone. Okay. And in order to close our session today, here we go. Okay. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person adjectives. This is what we already did, right? She's very, very tall. So it means that she is taller than the standard people. Yeah. And here we have, in this session, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. And this is also what I played for you. Let's remember that this is for general appearance. What does she look like? What does he look like? Yes. And what do they look like? Como son ellos? But physically talking, and then you may say, she's tall with red hair, she's gorgeous. Or what does he look like? Yes. Oh, he is pretty tall, pretty short, with uh, black curly hair. He's good looking, for example. Does he wear glasses? No, he doesn't, or yes, and he has, you know, something extra, beautiful eyes or whatever. In this case, it is about the beard. Age, how old is he? She's about 32. And when you are not also sure, you say she is in her 30s. It is more general. 
and how old is he? He is in his 20s. It can be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay, or 29. He's in his 20s. And you have the other questions. How tall is she? How tall is he? How long is her, her? Yeah, and you have uh, the words, the adjectives in order to describe the hair of the people. What color is his hair or her hair? Do you have any questions so far, class, about this? Hello? No, 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 somebody here, no questions. Okay, great. And now here, the knowledge check, did you do it? Yes, you did it or not yet? No. Mm, yes. Yes, okay, over here. No, no. You have right questions to match these statements. Let's do it right now, okay? My brother is 26 years old. What question should be here? Okay. How old is your brother? How old is your brother? Very well. How old is your brother? And what about number two? It is um, one meters 73 centimeters or 173 centimeters okay do you remember the questions to how ask tall? about how tall. tall how tall are you yes it's, how it's... tall here how tall are you yes okay so it would be how tall are you? Yes. But I don't know if we have two. Okay. And then in number mm -hmm. three, he's oh. tall and very good looking. The question should be. Yo tuve problemas en todas, me salieron rojas. ¿Por qué? Yo no intenté no. también y me salieron Escri rojas. Escribieron, escribieron el signo de interrogación. Sí, esa que acaba de poner, igual la puse y me sale en roja todita. Y mire, how tall, how tall are you? Por ejemplo. Sí. Y el signo de pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, pero traten de no escribir el signo de pregunta porque lo tiene acá. Ah, okay. Háganlo sin el signo de pregunta y veamos si, si, si sucede igual. Y recuerden la, la escritura y no dejar doble espacio, ¿verdad? Y las mayúsculas al inicio. Y verificar doblemente si hemos no, escrito. Sí, ahora sí me salió. Le sale sí, mal. Salió, sí, la, es que le ponía el. ¿El signo? El signo, sí. Ah, pero como ya lo tiene acá, por eso intuí que no, ¿verdad? Entonces, vaya. Eh, traten de hacerles y luego me dice si hay algún otro problema. Así lo verificamos. Recuerden iniciar with capital letter, ¿ok? Con mayúscula. No le vamos a agregar el signo de interrogación porque ya lo tiene acá. Ni a dejar doble espacio porque eso no nos no representa disminución de puntos. Ok. okay. The, la primera sería, how old is your brother? Uh, my brother. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, I think so. Because my brother is 26 years old. How old is your brother? My brother is 26 years old. Uh -huh. Sí, así es. Sí. Mm -hmm. Sí. Mm -hmm. Correct. Listo. Recuerden que esta semana tiene que terminar, ¿verdad? El, el, la sección 4. De hecho, hoy okay, 28, dicho. según parece, hoy 28, o al menos el... ¿Cuál el sería por... para esta semana, Tito? Uh, les voy a compartir el, el, el calendario que compartieron ellos, la programación, sí, se lo voy a compartir de nuevo en el chat. Acá está. Ahí está bien. Okay. Para que vean ustedes. Ya se los compartí de nuevo, entonces de acuerdo a esta programación... Del 25 al 28 de julio, la sección 4 uh, al 80% como mínimo, ¿verdad? 
para hoy 28, pero como ya mañana no tenemos clase, recuerden, y regresaríamos después de vacaciones el día lunes 8, ¿sí? Para entonces yo espero que hayan avanzado mucho, ¿verdad? Porque ya estaríamos prácticamente terminando la semana que regresemos, ¿sí? Traten okay. de ir avanzando y si es posible porque acá en la calendarización aparece sección 5 y el examen final, eh, ¿verdad? Del 8 al 11 de agosto. Porque así si tienen algún, alguna dificultad, lo resolvemos en esa semana, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Okay, Con bien. la de los audios más que todo he tenido problemas. Ok, oh sí, bien. Entonces vamos a enfatizar la otra semana después de vacaciones en los audios que nos hacen falta, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, so did you finish? And here in number five, it should be, if I say I am 40 years old, the question should be, how old are you? Excellent. How old are you? How old are you? If the answer is in number six, they are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How do they, how do they look like? Or no? Yes, teacher. How do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How do they look like? And in number seven, he's 180. How? How tall is? How tall, How tall is. is he? Very good. And then you submit. Ah, and the listening exercise is the next one. Bien, traten de avanzar todo lo que se pueda a jóvenes porque como les digo para la semana después de vacaciones, el día 8 regresamos. Vamos a tratar de hacer énfasis en lo que nos hace falta de los audios, ¿verdad? Que es donde les dificulta un poco más. Y pues eh, los problemas que se les presenten los trataremos de solventar, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, okay guys. So, uh, thank you so very much for joining. I wish you a very good and relaxing night and also nice vacations, okay? Enjoy your vacations and stay safe. Don't forget your hand sanitizer, your face mask, and see you on Monday, August the 8th, okay? Okay. Thank If you, you have any question or problem, you may okay. text me, okay? Si tienen alguna duda o pregunta, me pueden enviar mensaje y voy a tratar de ayudarles, okay? Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good Enjoy night. your vacation. Happy vacation. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Blessings. Bye. Bye bye. Take care.